and um, I'm just trying to figure that out. You know, but the other thing that it reminds me of is the uh, the power of our words. Uh, how, without even really giving it a second thought, I said to this man, oh, I'll be back in two weeks, I'll buy something from you then. And, uh, you know what, did I mean it? I think if I really meant it, I probably would have saved some money and sought him out the way that, that, that I thought I probably should now when I think back to it. But I didn't do that. How often every day do I make those kinds of without thinking promises to my kids, my wife, my friends, my co-workers, to God? And I don't give it another thought and I don't follow through. And I think to myself, what would have happened if two weeks later in Santa Cruz we had not run into each other? Would he still be thinking about that every once in a while and thinking, wow, just, just another lie in my life? You know, was it that significant to him? I think it was pretty significant to him that we did run into each other. And maybe that's the part I need to focus on. But, and the reason I say that is because it was, it was so impactful on me. I mean, I'm still telling the story about this little old man who wouldn't even tell me his name. He wouldn't let me take his picture. And, uh, and yet, he's, uh, he's there in my memory. He's emblazoned in there. And, and uh, you know, God, God has just done things through through this mission trip that uh, they've, they've changed my life in so many different ways and they're helping me see things on such a different uh, level. Uh, my faith, my understanding of how God works in this world, my understanding of my responsibilities as a Christian to, uh, to my, my brothers and sisters, uh, wherever it may be. Maybe the mission field is, uh, is right here in my home city. Maybe it's in my home church. Maybe it's in Bolivia, maybe it's in, uh, in China, maybe it's in Kenya, I don't know. But uh, I know one thing, that uh, two years ago, if you would have told me I was going to Bolivia and that I'd be telling these stories now, I would have laughed at you and said, yeah, right, I'll race you there because you'll beat me easy. And yet, here now, these stories are a part of my life and they're changing me and they're changing my family and uh, I can't wait to be able to tell them to the people who ask.